Hello everyone. I absolutely love these stitched dies, okay? Neat and Tangled and Benzie Design collaborated to come up with this cactus and llama die set. I also have a few dies from Paper Tray Ink that I'm also going to use on this project. This is my felt. This is my Benzie felt collection. I store them in these storage solutions folders. These are 12 by 12, I believe. And I just print out what's in there with the coordinating DMC floss. And then I retrieve it whenever the mood strikes me. I'm not quite sure what I want to use on this project just yet. I know I want it to be a little bit, let's say, non-traditional. That's typically what I go for. And Benzie makes it so easy by having these coordinating floss with their color palettes. This is the Winter Mint color palette, and I'm using oh. my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine to cut out my llama. Of course, you need to cut each of these things twice. Well, you don't have to. This is what I'm doing for this project. <laughs> I want to make a zipper pouch and I want the felt pieces to stand up a little bit, give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of feel. I'm making this for my niece. She's six and I think it would be cool if it felt neat. I have big plans for this little pink succulent. Um, I'm going to m add a clasp and hang it off of the zipper, kind of like you see here. Now that I have everything cut out, it's time to start stitching. Stitchity doo da, stitchity day. I believe I've had some type of embroidery floss every day of my life since I found out what it was. For most of my die stitching uh, projects, I use a blunt tipped needle. This is a pretty thick needle and it doesn't have a sharp tip, therefore I don't get hurt. <laughs> I also like to use a lot a long string of embroidery floss because I don't like to re-floss my needle here. I don't like to do that. I can't see it. <laughs> um, it's hard for me to do these little knots on the end. So I keep a really long uh, embroidery floss. I usually use all six strands and I keep a double knot at the end of my thread. Um, sometimes I'll use less than six strands if I'm doing something decorative, but for the most part for these types of dies, I use all six strands for a nice thick outline. I'm starting this off by going inside the two layers so that my knot is in between the two layers there. And then I just go one stitch length, one stitch length to start a running stitch. And it's very simple. It's in one hole, out one hole, in one hole, out one hole. It's very therapeutic, almost mindless. So it's very relaxing. So you just continue to go in and out through the holes with all six strands of floss um, until you've filled in all the holes. It's that simple. I've uh, decided to use a coordinating uh, floss. All, all of these supplies will be listed um, on the Neat and Tangled blog or in the description box below. All of the felt pieces on the zipper bag for this project were stitched this exact same way, just using a running stitch and two pieces of felt, sticking them together. Um, I do have to restring often, unfortunately, but to do that, you just start the exact same way through the side so that your, uh, n your knot is in between the two layers. And then you just keep stitching just like if you had not ran out of floss. When you get to the end, you're going to do just the opposite. You're going to go out the middle of the two layers so that the knot is going to be secured in between the two. At the end, I use my scissors to kind of stuff the knot in in between the two layers um, just to get it nice and tucked in there. I must not have hit uh, record, but all I did was cut a little piece of elastic and I hot glued that piece of elastic in between the two sides of my little pink succulent here. And I added that little lobster clasp as well as the little um, flower from the same die set. Um, this requires a sharp needle. Uh, I'm, I'm still doing six strands of floss the exact same way, but this needle is sharp so that it can go through the elastic, through the hot glue, through the felt and all of the things. Um, the blunt tip needle would not do that for you. Just trust me, it won't. <laughs> By the time you're finished uh, stitching the two sides together, it's going to be ready to clasp on whatever you're trying to clip it on. 
You can consider this cheating all you want, but instead of stitching these on, I'm hot gluing them today. I'm using my Sure Bonder Detail Hot Glue Gun. This thing is awesome. Um, and it's going to hold it on there for as long as I need it to. So I'm just using a good amount of hot glue within the parameters of my felt pieces and gluing them onto the zipper pouch. You could take the time to stitch all of these items onto your zipper pouch. I don't have time for that. So this is what I did. I used some stitched circle dies from Paper Tray Ink to create this little sun, this little delicate sun here. And I'm also hot gluing the saddle onto my llama as well. I decided to forego adding an eye to my llama or any details on any of the images and leave them more as a silhouette. I love how it turned out. I think Ella is going to love keeping her little papers and pens and pencils in there. So as much as I loved how it looked exactly the way that it is, of course, I wanted to take it a little step further and personalize it for her. So I got out my Paper Tray Ink um, Alphabet Stitched cross-stitched dies. They basically cut out the cross-stitch pattern into your project in order to personalize items such as this. So I wasn't quite sure how to do this with it being a zipper pouch and I can't run it through my die cutting machine. So I used a piece of copy paper to create a pattern. This is a friction, uh, Pilot Friction uh, erasable pen. Well, the best thing about this pen is I can make all of these marks on my fabric and then in the end, to get rid of them, I hit it with the heat tool and they disappear because of the chemical used to make the pen erasable. It's friction, I guess, or heat, I don't know. I'm just following this pattern and making cross stitch X's um, on the other side of the zipper pouch in her initials ECW. I'm using the same pink floss that I used on the opposite side um, so that it all coordinates together. You could easily have some iron on fabric that you could iron on the inside of this, um, but I'm just tying it off onto into a knot. I think it'll be fine and safe and sound for the length of time that she will need to play with it. Uh, it doesn't look perfect on the inside, but it's a pencil pouch. It's about to look absolutely disgusting. How do they get so gross? That's it for my project today. Find me on social media. I love interacting with you in the comments. And until next time. Coming up next is a little bit of vlog footage and just us hanging out and having fun. Those of you that don't follow me on Instagram haven't seen stuff down here those those of you that just watch me on youtube so i just figured i'd walk around a little bit and you can kind of see it's surely not done but this is what it looks like right now That's where the bathroom is going to be, and that's my storage room in that door, and that's the bathroom. I promise that I'm going to do a proper craft room tour. I just haven't really felt up to it, and there's so much that still needs to be done. I just feel like I can wait. I can wait a little bit, So, it, but it, it will happen, I promise. Yeah, they were, they were, um, for seven, for seven curb cuts, seven, uh, I'm sorry, it was seven curb cuts, one exhaust fan, and seven Dang. They were almost my lights aren't lit up. As of last week when I went out there the last time, that looks like it went down to only having three now. And the contractor's like, don't worry about the lights. Ew. So I've tossed, I literally, I've, I've literally handed him props. Yeah, we don't play against each other. We play with each other to defeat the level. 
Here's a good Nintendo Pro tip. You always want corded controllers, okay? Wireless isn't where it's at. Corded controllers are the most responsive. Right, dear? Indeed. So to avoid any type of copyright infringement, I'm gonna show you guys the game we're playing right now. Well, this is the demo. It comes out at the end of this month. This is Yoshi's Crafted World. And I love Yoshi games, they're always fun, but this one is particularly close to my heart because it's, he plays in a world that's crafted with paper crafts and you know, you can play with your friends. So this is me and Tim playing this game. You get to eat the bad guys and throw eggs and, and break stuff and it's really cool and it's so fun, especially when you can play with a friend. So I just figured I would show you guys a little bit of the gameplay while we were playing this. It's really kind of cool also because not only do you play one side of the game level, but the flip side. So even though it's a side scrolling video game, you get to play in a three dimensional world and it's really neat. So I figured I would do more like a day in the life kind of vloggy type stuff to about what I do around here all day. I don't know if that's interesting. It's kind of interesting to me. <laughs> right now, I'm doing like 500 things at once, including eating this mint. So I should stop talking to you. 